This is Snake. Boss, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Report. I've located Gray Fox. He's confirmed it. Metal Gear is nuclear equipped, and they plan on activating it soon. We have to stop it. That's troubling news. We underestimated their progress. What's Fox's status? Fox is safe for now, sir. He gave me intel on how to stop Metal Gear. I need to find a Dr. Madnar, another prisoner on the base. He's the designer of the weapon. If I find him, I'll figure out how to stop Metal Gear. But I won't proceed without your call, boss. What are my orders? Continue the mission. Gather more intel on Metal Gear. Find a way to stop it. This weapon is too dangerous to be left in the hands of these mercenaries. But stay sharp, Snake. Outer Heaven is a den of vipers. Don't let your guard down for a second. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Snake, is everything going okay? I need intel on someone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Madnar? Yes, Madnar's a prisoner here. They had him working on some big project. He was always accompanied by armed guards. I remember seeing him on the base. He looked like a high-profile prisoner. He wouldn't be held in the main cell block. Any idea where they're holding him? There are more cells across the base where they hold prisoners who aren't soldiers. They'll likely have him there. But the only way to reach that area is from the roof. You'll have to cross over to the other side of the building to get there. The roof. Got it. Thanks, Schneider. Good luck, Snake. Having shattered the chains of his captivity, Solid Snake stood on the perilous path of outer heaven. Each step brought him closer to Metal Gear. And the truth. Snake moved deeper into the base relatively easily, like a shadow, a ghost in the wind. But he would soon face adversaries, the likes of which he had never faced before. He stopped abruptly. Ahead, a looming shadow materialized from the darkness. The heavy thud of boots grew louder. It was Shotmaker, the notorious prison warden, a formidable figure with a dark and dangerous past. Shotmaker, once a respected Spetsnaz operative, honed his lethal skills in the Soviet Union. But with its collapse, he found a new path as a mercenary. His ruthlessness steered him to being recruited into Outer Heaven, where he became the sole warden of the underground prison. His brutal, imposing nature and the fear he instilled made him more than qualified to handle the task. Going somewhere, little worm. Who the hell are you? No one escapes my prison. This is the end of the line for you, boy. Let's not jump to conclusions. I face down better men than you. You're just another notch on my gun. I don't go down easy. Oh, I've heard all about you, Solid Snake. Foxhound's golden boy. But here in outer heaven, you're just prey. How do you know so much about me? Shotmaker's hand moved towards his holstered riot gun. He opened fire, but Snake's reflexes were sharp. He quickly dove into an adjacent room, avoiding the gunfire. Run all you want. There's no escaping me, coward. The door slammed shut behind Snake. The muffled sound of Shotmaker's curses, bullets and heavy footsteps echoed outside. It was a deadly game of cat and mouse, Snake would have to use his wits and training to overcome the brute strength and ferocity of Shotmaker. He quickly surveyed the room, looking for anything he could use to his advantage. As luck would have it, he located his scattered gear and a few additional items that would come in handy. Okay, time for a change in tactics. Fully equipped, he cautiously opened the door, peering into the corridor where Shotmaker lurked, pacing like a caged beast. Snake. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Snake stepped out, now fully armed and ready. Shotmaker turned, surprised by his sudden reappearance. What the? A brief but intense fight ensued. Shotmaker aimed to fire at Snake, but Snake skillfully shot his gun out of his hands, his skill and agility being pitted against Shotmaker's brute force. In a display of tactical prowess, Snake used advanced CQC techniques learned from Big Boss himself to slam Shotmaker to the ground. An incapacitating blow. Stay down. Fresh from his victory over Shotmaker, Snake made his way towards the roof access. 
however, this led him to another equally lethal adversary. A youthful figure emerged with confident swagger, Machine Gun Kid. Barely out of his teens, his youthful appearance belied his deadly expertise. Machine Gun Kid, a former SAS prodigy turned mercenary, whose mastery of machine guns earned him his fearsome nickname. He was of similar age to Snake, and just as deadly. Like Shotmaker, he left a prestigious career behind for the independent world of Outer Heaven. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you are? I'm the best damn soldier here. Machine Gun Kid suddenly opened fire, bullets ricocheting off the walls. Snake ducked for cover, narrowly avoiding the shots. Damn it! Snake strategically moved from cover to cover, avoiding direct confrontation. With the gunfire relentless, a chaotic echo in the tight space. Preparing to counterattack, Snake threw a smoke grenade, filling the corridor with thick smoke. Machine Gun Kid, now disoriented, fired blindly. Huh, oh, damn it! Can't see a thing! Emerging from the smoke, Snake swiftly closed the distance, executing precise maneuvers. It was over for Machine Gun Kid before he even knew it. Having overcome the formidable Machine Gun Kid, Snake found himself atop the windswept rooftop of Building One, a vast expanse under the starless sky of Outer Heaven. The rooftop, wide and open, was a stark contrast to the claustrophobic corridors below. Snake stood at the edge, gazing across the gap to the inner courtyard where the cells were located. He donned a parachute found amongst his gear and secured it to his back, figuring the quickest way to reach the cells would be to jump, his only lifeline across the perilous expanse. As Snake prepared to jump, the thunderous whir of rotors pierced the night. A Hind D gunship, menacing and armed, emerged, its spotlight sweeping the rooftop. The Hind D, a soaring predator of the skies, its arrival sowed suspicion in Snake. This marked the third time he had encountered a deadly foe directly in his path, as if tipped off by someone. The coincidence was too glaring to ignore, and Snake couldn't shake the feeling that there was a leak in his mission. He briefly considered the possibility that he was being paranoid, the high stakes of the operation playing tricks on his mind. Yet, the nagging questions persisted, gnawing at him even as he prepared to face the immediate threat of the gunship. He ducked behind cover as the gunship opened fire. Bullets peppered the rooftop. Sparks and debris flew everywhere. Surveying his surroundings, desperately searching for a way to counter the gunship's onslaught, his eyes fell upon a single grenade, a remnant from his reclaimed gear. With no other options, he knew he had to make this one-shot count. In a heart-stopping moment of daring, Snake broke from his cover, rolling across the rooftop as the gunship's spotlight frantically tried to track his movements. With a deep breath and a silent prayer, he pulled the pin and launched the grenade with all his might, watching it arc through the air against the dark sky. Time seemed to slow as the grenade hurtled towards its target, the gunship's rotors beating a deafening rhythm. Then, in a blinding flash, the grenade found its mark detonating in a fiery explosion that engulfed the aircraft. The once menacing Hind D erupted into a ball of flames, its metal carcass raining down upon the rooftop in a shower of smoldering debris. With the gunship's wreckage still smoldering behind him, Snake knew that time was of the essence. The explosion would undoubtedly draw attention, and reinforcements would soon be on their way. He sprinted towards the edge of the rooftop, his heart pounding in his ears as he prepared to make the leap that would take him one step closer to his objective. As he reached the edge, Snake took a deep breath, steeling himself for the jump. With a final glance back at the burning remnants of the Hind D, he leapt into the void, embracing the rush of wind and the uncertainty of what lay ahead. The parachute carried Snake down gracefully, drifting towards his destination. The inner courtyard bathed in the eerie glow of the moon, the landing was rough but controlled. He unstrapped the parachute and surveyed the courtyard. It was desolate, save for the imposing cells ahead of him. Dr. Madnar's cell should be close. Snake approached the cells, his steps echoing in the quiet. He reached the door. Anticipation and tension were evident in his posture. He opened the cell door, 
only to find it empty. A moment of frustration crossed his face, but resolve quickly replaced it. Snake was not one to give up. Damn, not here. I need to keep moving. Suddenly, a rustling sound caught his attention. A hostage, eyes wide with fear and hope, emerged from the shadows. You're not one of them, are you? No, I'm here to help. I need to find Dr. Madner. You know him? He was here, but they moved him to Building 2's basement. It's heavily guarded. They need him to finalize the work on Metal Gear. Once he's finished, that monster will be fully operational. Then that's where I'm headed. Stay here. I'll send help. With each step, Snake would unravel more of Outer Heaven's twisted web. The path ahead was fraught with danger, but his resolve was unshakable. The mission continued, deeper into the abyss. Now armed with the knowledge of Dr. Madnar's new location, Snake stood at the edge of a vast desert that separated the two main buildings of Outer Heaven. The courtyard faded behind him as he approached the daunting expanse of the desert. The moon cast long shadows over the dunes, creating an almost otherworldly landscape. The desert. This isn't going to be easy. He checked his gear. Water, compass, map. Each item would be essential for the treacherous journey ahead. The moon hung low, casting a spectral light over the desert as Snake continued on. The sand, a seemingly endless expanse, sprawled out before him. He moved forward with determination, his figure a lone entity in the vast open landscape. The only sounds were his steady footsteps and the soft whisper of the desert wind. Snake paused briefly, consulting his compass and map under a faint light. He took a careful sip of water, mindful of his limited supplies. The desolate terrain was unforgiving and endless. It was a true test of survival, pitting Snake against the raw forces of nature. A distant rumble drew Snake's attention. He quickly ducked, concealing himself as a patrol vehicle cruised by, its lights a brief intrusion in the darkness. Snake remained unseen, a shadow amidst shadows. As the night wore on, Snake's pace began to slow. His steps became laborious under the weight of fatigue in the relentless desert. The first light of dawn began to seep over the horizon, casting a golden glow across the sands. Snake, still a distance from his goal, pressed on. The silhouette of Building 2 started to become visible, a mirage-like presence on the horizon. Almost there. As the sun rose over the desert, Snake's resolve was put to the ultimate test. Each step through the shifting sands brought him closer to Building 2, yet the fate of his mission remained uncertain. Exhausted but determined, Snake pushed onward, driven by an unwavering will to uncover the truth and confront the dangers that awaited him. The desert had forged his legend, but the true trials lay ahead. With the fortress in sight, Snake steeled himself for the challenges to come, ready to face the horrors and revelations that lurked within its walls.